In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the feature installer. First thing, when you start the setup program, it'll show you, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? I'll say yes. You can also take a look at the details. The first part, it'll say thank you for choosing Rat Studio. There's links to the license agreement and privacy statement. You can click uh, yes when you agree. You can also choose to install Rat Studio for all users. You can join or join later the customer experience program, create a desktop shortcut, and choose where you want to install Rad Studio. And it'll start by installing the main application files that are required to get to the next step, which will bring up the feature installer. In the feature installer, you can then choose the platforms that you want to install. So for example, I want to start with 32-bit Windows development, so I'll choose the Delphi and C++ Builder Windows 32 installs. You may have different choices depending on the license key that you have for Rad Studio. And down below it'll give you uh, information about the download size. And you can check more of the options here or you can choose to install those options later. So let's just start by doing the platform selections for 32-bit windows for Delphi and C++ Builder. And here on the additional options page, I can choose additional language packs, French, German, and Japanese. I can choose to install the samples, the help, uh, third-party tools like FastReport, IntraWeb, T-Chart Standard, uh, unit testing frameworks, Interbase Express components, and I want the Interbase XZ7 Developer Edition. So once you've set those additional options, you can click the install button. Again, it gives us the amount of time that it's going to take and space required. If you want to go back and make different choices, you can hit the back you can click the back button and go and pick additional platforms. But let's just start, start but let's just start with Win32 Delphi and C++ Builder. And now based on the choices that we made, we may have some additional license agreements. For example, uh, I said I wanted to install the fast report and, and other third-party tools, so I'll agree to the license. Based on the choices I made, the installer is continuing. And the time that it takes will depend on the choices you made and your internet speed. Since this is an online-based installer, it has to pull the pieces that you chose to have the installer install, so it downloads them, extracts them, and installs them, and installs them. And you can see the overall progress on the screen. So now the install is complete for the choices that I made, and I can start working. And then once I'm in the IDE, notice that I can create Delphi and C++ applications to get started. And we can choose to install or uninstall additional features. Use the Tools, Manage Platforms menu item. You'll see what you currently have installed, in my case, 32-bit Windows development for Delphi and C++ Builder. You can choose additional platforms and also additional options. You can use the checkboxes to uninstall or install additional features. So let's add 64-bit Windows support Android and iOS. It'll tell us again how much more time we'll need and we can click the apply button. And now the feature installer will download, extract, and install the additional capabilities that you chose in the installer selections. Okay, so I've added those pieces. The ID will restart to configure and reload the new platforms that I've added. And now we can see which platforms the ID knows about. Create a multi-device application. And now under the target platforms, we have 32-bit, 64-bit Windows, Android, and iOS. And then to finish the complete install, we'll go back one more time to Manage Platforms and add OS X. Okay, so now we have the last of the platforms installed, OS X. We'll restart the ID one last time, and now we have everything we need for the full install. Create new multi-device application, C++ and look at the target platforms, which now includes OS X. So that's the process of doing the install using the feature install. When you're connected to the internet, you can download the parts that you want and install them. You can also go back under Tools, Manage Platforms, and uninstall any feature that you don't need.